Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these five cool text material effects directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As always, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File, New and choose Blank Presentation, then right click Layout and Blank. Now let's create our first text material effect, which is going to be stone. So we'll right click on the background, go to Format Background, choose Picture or Texture Fill, then click Insert, go to Stock Images and type Stone. I'm going to choose this one here and click Insert. Now we'll add our text. We'll go to Text Box, click anywhere, type whatever word we want. I'm going to make it Fig Tree Black and 200 point size. Align it to the center and the middle. Now we can apply the styling. We'll go to Format Shape and make sure we're in the Text Options section. Then on the Fill of the Text Options section, go to Picture or Text Fill, Insert Stock Images and choose the same image again. Now we'll click on this option here to go to Text Effects and choose 3D Format. And for the bevel option, I'm going to choose the first one on the second row, which is angle. And then for top bevel, width 20, height 20. For depth, I'm going to choose 14. And under lighting, the fourth one across on the top row, which is called harsh. And finally, I want to change the angle to 45 degrees. And there's our first text material effect. Now it's created. You can easily change this into anything you like just by typing in it. And PowerPoint makes it really simple to make variations once you've created something like this. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo that back to stone. Now let's make our paper effect. So we'll right click, choose new slide, go to picture or texture fill, insert stock images, type paper texture. I chose this one here, click insert, add our text. Again, I'm going to use Fig Tree Black, 200 point, align it to the center and the middle. Then go to Format Shape, Text Options, Picture or Texture Fill, Stock Images, Paper Texture. And I chose this one, but you can choose any one you think looks good. Then I added an inner shadow, so we'll go to Text Options, Text Effects, select Shadow, go to Presets and start with an inner shadow. And I made some small adjustments to have a seven point blur, 240 degree angle. And there we have our paper effect. Again, because it's just text in PowerPoint, you can easily change it to anything you like. Next up is the wave. So we'll right click, new slide, format background, Picture or texture fill, insert stock images, type wave blue. And I chose this one, click insert. We'll type our text using the same font, fig tree black, 200 point. Align it to the center, align it to the middle. For this, we're going to use text effects. So while the text is selected, we can go to shape format, text effects. Go to the bottom where it says transform and choose wave up, which is this one here. We'll now apply a gradient to the text. So we'll go to text options, gradient fill. We can click and drag to remove these. I'm going to select a light blue for the top. A darker blue for the bottom, each time using the eyedropper tool, just to select one of these colors. We can make the bottom slightly transparent. Then I've added a reflection. To do that, we'll go to Text Effects, Reflection, and I chose the third option, which is this one here, Full Reflection Touching. You can click on this side here and pull this out to actually stretch out the wave as much as you like. That looks pretty good. I'll just realign it to the center. If you want to make it more vivid, you can adjust the color of the blue to anything you want here. Next, we're going to move on to the metal background. So again, we'll right click, new slide, right click format background, picture or texture fill, insert stock images, 
I typed metal background. We chose this, add our text. Big tree 200 point as we used before. Align it to the center, align it to the middle. We'll go to text options, picture or texture fill, insert and choose the same image again. Then go to our text effects, select top bevel, choose this one again, angle, 10 point width and 10 point height, depth 14, lighting, flood, which is this one on the second row, and then a 240 degree angle. Nice, a cool metal effect, really quite simple and easy to make. And for our final one, we'll create a neon effect and then we'll add a nice transition between them all. So we'll right click, new slide, format background. This one's going to be a solid black. We'll add our text. I'll make it white just so we can see it for now. Fig tree black, 200 point. Align center, align middle. We'll go to text options, text effects. And under the glow option, I'm going to choose a pink color. Click OK. Select the size to 18 point. Then go to fill, choose gradient fill. And for this, I'm going to choose a very bright blue at the top. Something like that. And at the bottom, the pink. Then under text effects, we'll go into the 3D format options. Choose the first bevel option, which is round. 15 point width, 15 point height. Then under lighting, I'm going to choose this last option here, which is bright room. And there we get our cool neon effect. And now we'll just quickly set up a nice transition to go through them all as I did in my example. So I'll select slides two to five by clicking on two, holding down shift and clicking on five. Then going to transitions, click this down arrow here and I'm going to choose dynamic content pan and then run that. Nice. There's our five quick text material effects directly in PowerPoint. Now easily editable and can be used in anything you want. And if you'd like to download the source files for this or any other of my tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, then watch one of the next videos. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.